have an uneasy feeling that the producer thought we were watching Schumacher when in fact we were watching Patrese because the German, Michael Schumacher, is still in the lead and he's now six seconds ahead and that is uh, John Stanisberger straight out of the pits on cold tyres. Yeah, a big mistake by Gerhard Berger then. Too much power, cold tyres, even though these tyres are warmed in their blankets, they are still not at operating temperature. Out of the pit lane spun it. In fact, he was very, very lucky then not to be collected by another car. That was pure chance. We may get a replay. And uh, we should see him spearing off from your left-hand side. There he is. Look at that. Missing Derek Warwick there by fractions. Now, that really will have given Derek a massive scare. Probably all over far too quickly for him to really think about. But uh, sadly there, Alessi going tremendously well, it has to be said. Just to be eight seconds behind the leader, halfway through this race, is Ferrari's best performance yet. And it also has to be said that Alessi has consistently outperformed Gerhard Berger this year. Berger has not been as fast, and he's also been more, he's certainly been less lucky. Now here we are, now he's coming out of the pit lane, hard on the power, that was simply too much power, lost the back end. Now, clearly this is traction control system not saving him on that occasion, and Berger out of the race. Yes, in mitigation, I have to say that a lot of Berger's poor results in comparison with Alessi this season will have been because of his very painful elbow injury. Here's a replay, and as Jonathan said, he just gave it too much welly too soon as he came out of the pit lane. Miss Derek Warwick has now got up to eighth position by a hair's breadth, and this is the result. Yes, I think in some uh, minor defence of Gerhard, you saw the car bump at the back end, the exit of the pit lane is bumpy. In fact, the whole circuit used to be very bumpy, and uh, the resurfacing has helped that. And it may well have been that the bump just aggravated the situation, being hard on the power. Gerhard is that kind of driver. He's the kind of driver who takes the car by the scruff of the neck and throws it around. He's certainly not intimidated by the 750 horsepower of these cars. But on this occasion, maybe he was a touch too aggressive. Well, for some reason, 